Hello YouTube, this is Chef from Stanley Piquets. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you recall, in the last tutorial, we created image views. In the tutorial before that, we created a swap chain. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating shader modules, and we're going to be using the vertex shaders, the fragment shaders. These, these if you if you have done OpenGL in the past, you will recognize uh, what these are. This is the, using the GLSL language that OpenGL uses. This is equivalent in the Microsoft world to the HLSL. Uh, I believe they call it high language cells. Uh, in this case, we're using GSL, GSS, GLSL. I'm sorry, and that's what uh, what we use in the OpenGL uh, world. So basically, is we're going to be turning GLSL shader code into native SPIR V binary code using the GLS Lang validator that came with your SDK. And then I'm going to show you how to, uh, we're going to load those shaders and uh, and it will help us into to create the shader stage. Okay, so let's get started. Let me close this here. And uh, this, basically I have these, uh, one, two, three, four, five files. This is the compile file that we're going to use to compile. This is our main shader module C++ file, our make file, and our shader fragment, and our shader vertex. So, first of all, I'm going to show you what the uh, shader fragment looks like. And this is, uh, that's it. It's uh, five, six lines of code that is going to help us with the creation of the shader module using shader fragments. If you want to follow along, you can copy these. I'm going to have this in the Git, my GitHub page also. And now let us me show you what's inside the, the vertex one, the nano shader vert. And very similar. Uh, if you come from the OpenGL world, you know exactly what these are. These are this is what creates uh, it, it adds uh, color, it adds uh, where the vertex are going to be in the window. Uh, and, but this is GLSL. Okay, so I'm going to create a directory. So you can see right now there is no directory. I'm going to call create a directory called shaders. And I'm going to take the shader frag and uh, the shader frag. Actually, before we do that, let me show you what's inside the compile. I created this directory here. It's called shaders. And now I'm going to put whatever the product, the output of the compilation process inside those shaders. What's inside that compiled batch file? Let me show you. It's basically two lines telling uh, telling the the where is the uh, GLS line validator, and as so, so you maybe you might not recall, this is part of the SDK that we downloaded from the Lunar G website. So basically, I'm just executing. Uh, the G, using this binary that is already ready to go in order to compile the shader vertex code into SP, uh, SPRV code. I believe it's SPRV. It's SPIRV. So this is basically what we're doing. And let me show you now where is this in your... This should be in your SDK that you downloaded. And as you can see, for me, it's inside this directory right here. So it's cdx86. And then in the binary directory, there they are. This is the guy that we're going to be using, the GLSL length validator. And as you can see, there are many other ones that we probably will deal in other tutorials. But for now, 
we're going to this is the Vulcan info that I've been using uh, to to give me information about my GPU and you've seen it me running it from now, from time to time to let me know what's where my properties are but for now we're going to be using this one and as, as you can see my directory where it is is this one in your case it's going to be different it's, it's in my home chesco vulcan and then my sdk inside the x8664 and the binary directory and that's where i am now so now if i go out again and now go into my where am i vulcan tutorials and code YouTube and then tutorial 15 which is this one and I'm back where I was before now let me clear this and now what I'm going to do I'm going to compile this batch file okay so make sure that you have these two lines of code inside your compiled batch make sure also that uh, that is nice and neon because that means it's ready to execute. If you don't know how to do that, all you need to do is to make it executable, just go chmod plus x, compile, bash, sh, and it will make it uh, ex uh, executable. So now it's all ready to go. So now, once I run this, it's going to take this guy, and this guy and is going to create binaries that Vulcan can use uh, for to create the shader modules. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to compile and there it goes. They were executed and if I now check again, now I have these two guys that were not there before. It's fragment SPV and vertex XPB. Now I'm going to take these and move them inside my uh, shaders directory that I just created. And shaders, and then LS. And now they're not there anymore. They're inside here. So I'm going to go inside here. So I show you. And there they are. So now I'm going to. I compiled it. This is if I try to open this, you're gonna see it's not human readable. It's binary code, and there it is. Okay, it's binary. It's not for us to be able to read it. And if I do the same for the SPB for the vertex, same thing. They're both binaries. So now I'm going to show you the main. I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong one. And now we're going to show you the created shader module C++ file. So now I'm going to open that one and show you and see what is in here. And it's basically the same uh, file that we've been using, but there's uh, a new addition. There's, there's a, a new lines of code that is going to create the shader modules for us. So let's uh, let me show them to you. This is the same, as you can see here, this is what we did in the last tutorial, the swap chains and the uh, Vulcan image view. But as we keep going down, you can see that now there is the create graphics pipeline function that was not there before. And if we can keep continuing going down, you're going to see this is all from all of the tutorials that we have done so far. But this is no, this was not there before. A, a part, of, a part of it is, is new. We keep going down. And uh, this is our swap chain and the image view. And there it is. This is all new here. This is a whole new 
create graphics pipeline function and it's taking the vert shader code, it's reading the files, it's reading the binary from the shaders directory that we just created, it's reading both of them, and then it's, ex you know, it's, it's executing it behind, uh, you know, on, underneath all is, is doing, creating the shader modules. So this is the Vulkan pipeline shader stage create info, this is the struct, but as you can see, it's using the Vulkan structure type pipeline shader stage create info. That's the S type. Uh, it's calling both mains because they have both have mains inside, as you saw them inside. This is the vert shader module and the fragment shader module. And here is going to the, this is the Vulkan pipeline shader stage create info. It's creating the shader stages using the info from both of them, from both of those files. And then after it uses them, it destroys both of them. And let's continue going down. This is also new here. The Vulkan shader module, it creates the shader module with a vector. And uh, this is all new, okay? So all of that that I show you is new. If you continue going down, is basically from the other tutorials that we have uh, that we have done. I called it the Hello Shader application, and the main is just the app is going to run the app like we have done in the other tutorials. So this is what is inside this guy. So once I run it, now it's going to be using the binaries that are inside this guy. So let's run it. And uh, actually, let me show you the make file. And it's going to it's create graphics pipeline, C++. The, uh, executable is called graphics pipeline is going to be created once we run it using the LD flags from Vulkan. So let's run it. So first of all, let's do make. So it's, uh, I already ran it. So it's telling me that there's nothing to change. And now we're going to uh, create graphics pipeline. Ooh, I didn't change the name. That's why it's complaining. It's called the Create Graphics Pipeline. And the Graphics Pipeline. And I don't have this code here. It says it's a different one. So actually, we're going to have to change the make file to create shader modules. Because I was testing the other one before I started this tutorial. So it's uh, modules. And create shader modules. And then control X. Yes. And now make. It executes cleanly. Now we see it there. It's the graphics pipeline. And now we run the graphics pipeline. And there it is. And to, uh, it's just the same window, but there's a lot more going on. It's already it has taken the bytecode, uh, the SPV binaries, and is using them behind the scenes. So in the next tutorial, we should be ready to start drawing. So we just uh, we have created the shader modules. We have. Uh, uh done a lot i mean 900 lines of code later more or less but now finally we're going to be starting to uh draw into the, these windows okay so this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel follow me on github and twitter and i will see you next time with another tutorial take care